So here, as you can see, I got a bunch of them. Let's set that aside for now. I pop these open, throw these in the sink with soapy water. And I rinse these out in rinse these out in the sink first before I throw them in the soapy water, so I'm not washing them in coffee water. That's all I do. Just open them up. And this is good for throwing in your flower beds, compost for whatever. The worms seem to love it. So after I'm done doing this, I'll show you how I'm throwing them in the sink and washing them and how I dry them. So now you can see I've got them all tore down. Put a little soap in here. rinse all these things out and having this many of them I usually have about three cups of coffee a day but just the same emptying these the ones that I started out with the coffee is actually dry inside they're not molding or anything they're dry inside and so you're carefully dumping it into your uh, bowl for compost or whatever so don't go all over the place and you can see they do have a little bit on the screens as normal. But I just rinse them off, throw them in the soapy water. I let them soak in there a little bit. And I stir them up, kind of like a washing machine, I guess we'll say. Kind of get them to get that little extra something out of them. These here, you'll see where, unless you're going to be painstaking about it, you're not going to normally get those real clean, but dip them in water and that's <laughs> probably good enough. Most people don't even wash theirs. And that's one thing, the reason why I got so many of them is I'd prefer to wash them each time before I use them because, I don't know. OCD. So anyway, I'll get these washed up and be back. Okay, I forgot to tell you too. These, if you buy that cute little box, on eBay you're paying between, what, 15 to $30 depending on how crazy you are. I buy these on eBay without the box and I buy six of, them, six of them at a time and with free shipping I can get them between $10.99 to $11.25 that's for six of these three piece things so to me it's well worth it I'm not going to go to the store and buy the ones in that cute little box because I don't mind wasting my money on a whole bunch of these, but not what they want for them. So anyway, I just give these here, the outer part, just a little bit of a rinse. Usually they just have a little bit of coffee on the outside of them because the coffee machine doesn't seal around them. Like a... a K-cup does, well the K-cup it actually pokes a hole in and so it can kind of pressurize itself there. So what I do is I stack these up. Ouch. You're trying to burn yourself too hot of water. You can see they're clean inside. Of course I've only had them oh probably a little over a year doing this and then you got your lids gonna get another handful of them if you wanted to get a brush and brush all this in here to make them super clean fine but I wouldn't worry too much about it it's only for coffee 
and the only thing you're doing right now is just trying to get the soap off of it too because you don't need that soapy soapiness stuck in your coffee and which my coffee doesn't taste like soap but that's because I rinse them shake it I normally do all one thing first but just showing you real quickly what I do Anyway, I get all of them done like that, and I let them set till they dry. And then I'll be back and show you what I do after that. By the way, I'm just showing you how I do it. And the reason why I have these which most of you already know, your K-cups are kind of expensive. And it depends on how rich you are and how much uh, money you got, which I'm not filthy rich or anything else, but there you go. So that's why I use this coffee of my own, Folgers, obviously. And I will admit, I use more coffee making my own than I do making using a normal coffee pot to make a 12 pot or 12 cup pot the thing is is I'm usually home alone and so I'm the only one drinking it and I end up making a full pot turning it off and then I nuke it all day long for up to two days which is kind of gross for some people but hadn't killed me yet and I decided the Keurig, I can make one cup and have a fresh cup every time. And so that's why I went to this system here. And when I'm feeling lazy or feeling like I'm filthy rich, I use the K-cups here. And these these here, like I said, they're a little bit stronger than I normally make, but it's a good, uh, in my opinion, morning coffee. So anyway, as you can see, I've got 15 of them. I've got this on a cookie sheet. I have one of the large cookie sheets. Set a towel down, and it is uh, January right now for me. So I'm just going to go set them on the pellet stove. If you wanted them to dry faster, then turn your oven on and don't let it, the oven get too hot. Uh, about 100 degrees or accident 200 no big deal uh, and shut the oven off slide these in and leave the oven door open if your house is cold obviously close your oven door but within 10 15 minutes these are ready to be filled again then usually i'm not in a hurry so okay i don't know if you can see or not but my oven is at 270 it's as low as I can get it. But I figured I'd show you what I do when I'm in a hurry. Set this back. And let me go get the tray. Let me shut that one off. There's plenty of heat coming out of there. And I do believe I'm going to set the timer for fifteen minutes. There we go. This here is showing you is a Keurig. I, I had me shopping at the Goodwill store and I paid four dollars for it. It's brand new. Uh, you never know why it's at the Goodwill store. It could have been a box that got opened and the store can't sell it without the box. Uh, I didn't know they could sell them at all because I, they come with the 2.0 
Mine's not a 2.0, but I'm going to try it out anyway. I did find out I got to take this off, and this only makes four cups. So if you have people coming over and you've already gave them each their individual cup, you might want to make another one or another four in here, set it on the table, and when you're ready for more coffee, just pour it. I forgot the number on mine, but I do have the small, medium, and large on the, let's see, there we go. I do have the small, medium, and large. I don't have the light in the tank. I don't really care about the light in the tank. Yeah, it's a cool feature, but I'm not paying that extra money. This here, take off. This here, after I wash it, and set in there like that. And it does kind of catch because of that lid or lip on there. And I haven't tried it yet, but I figured I'm going to try four straight hot waters just because and see how well it works out. And of course, like I say, I'll obviously wash it before I use it and this way I can still have the pot too if I need it if I got guests coming over or if I have guests coming over okay so I don't have anything in there here's one now I'll go ahead and let it run just so you can see how it works Well, that's brewing. I saw someone on the internet take one of these. They're saying to get more flavor out of their coffee. They want you to see that lower ridge right there. They want you to cut along, all along there. Two, they want you to take that filter paper out and throw it away. Then you're left with this lower part of the K cup with that hole in it. This is a used one, obviously. And give me a second here. What they want you to do is take this and this, slide that in there and push it down in there. And then they want you to put your filter on top of that and put your coffee in and then your top obviously put that in there I tried that one time and the problem with that because he never said anything about it but the problem with that is this here does not seal against the lid and so what it does is when it dumps through let me show you again When it dumps through this hole here, there's no seal. It's just that needle that goes in there and just squirts the water. So after that fills up, it starts overflowing and flowing down the side of the cup. So you're not getting your full flavor of your coffee. It's just dumping down the side. So I suggest this, oops, this thing here, it's no good. Don't even try it. And full flavor I get full flavor through my coffee just with the screen that you're supposed to have in here so I don't understand what they're talking about 
So anyway, what is this, three? And in a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and make a normal cup of coffee. And we'll t I'll take a close-up of it dropping into my cup. And you'll see how it's nice dark coffee coming out and towards the end it's clear. Well, if it's clear, that means you've already gotten all the coffee you're going to get out of it. Unless you're doing a slower brew in a normal coffee pot that has nothing to do with speed like this one does. Well, anyway, I do believe that's number three, using my largest cups, and my pot is full already. Get that out of there. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it is full. So by the looks of it, I'm only doing three of the large ones. Like I say, this doesn't belong to this pot. This is not a 2.0, it's a lower model ones, but I don't, this one was on sale this year, 2000, or 2015, at Walmart for $79.99. And I had one that only had two uh, different sizes, but during the summer, I take off in my fifth wheel trailer, and I wanted one of these in there. So that's what I did, is I bought me a new one for the house and took my older one and stuck into the trailer. Okay, you can hear the timer going off. So that means that these things should be dry. I'm not going to touch it just because I might like I burn myself. So here you can see there's a little bit of moisture on these things. These here are fine. I see there's a little bit of moisture on the edges, but if you're desperate you can go ahead and fill them up because it's not going to hurt anything. Like I say, when I fill these things up, use them and set them aside until I'm ready to wash them, they don't mold. So your coffee's not going to mold as far as I know. Hasn't done it to me yet. So anyway, Let me show you what what I do. Get this camera over here. Take this. I measure out about a half. Oh, yeah. Thing is, I mess it up. <laughs> Dump that out. Give your filter a shake. Put the filter in. Dump that in there, get yourself a lid, put that on there, and then this here, I just start setting them in there. Make sure to put the filter in, get my half a scoop of coffee, which like I say this is a eighth cup. Put my lid on it, set her in there. Oh, by the way, I was talking to you about this Keurig coffee pot. I went to Walmart and I saw they only come with the, some of the 2.0s. It uh, depends on how much money you want to spend for them or whatever. On eBay, I think I saw this for 20 bucks, something like that. Or you can get one that's all chrome for 30 or 40 bucks. Depends on how rich you are and what you need the ambiance to look like, I guess. Hey, I'll do one more here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up. And get back to you. Okay, you can see I got 
all of them in here but one and this is the one I'm going to make my coffee with I need to take that out push them underneath and just grab a hold of them and pull it out and then you can just throw that in there and give me a second here because where is it there it is I use a creamer in my cup. So, I'm going to kind of show you, because I watch these other videos and they say that you got to stir your coffee as soon as it's made because it doesn't stir itself up. Well, I put the creamer in there and let's see how non-black it gets, I guess we'll call it. So let's see how dark the coffee is and when it turns clear, if we possibly can. There you go, it's clear now. And as you can see, I put creamer in there and it's thoroughly mixed. It doesn't need to be stirred. <laughs> 